Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll try to understand what is Monte Carlo in reinforcement learning. So it is basically a, uh, like a method for estimating the value function uh, given a state, the value for it in a reinforcement learning environment. Uh, so let's get started. Let's understand what are different types of Monte Carlo approach that we have. So the first, uh, like first of all, assume that we have been given an example, uh, two episodes uh, from a particular environment where we have two states, A and B, and the last one is a terminate state. Now, if you look in the first instance, uh, at when you're at a state A, the first reward is three. Let's try to understand how the episodes are mentioned. Now, if the next state is also, then the reward is two. Uh, the next state is B, the reward is minus four. The next, uh, next state is A, plus 4 next uh, next state is b minus 3 so assume it to be, uh, like just try to imagine a flow chart where like you are iterating from uh, like you are going from one state to another and you are ev uh, eventually getting rewards for that and these are different rewards that we are getting similarly uh, in the next episode that we have the first state is b giving a reward of minus 2 then when we move from uh, b to a we get a reward of plus 3 then we again when we move, move to b we get a minus 3 and then the uh, state terminates so as written uh, in the third point, A plus 3 uh, uh, corresponds A plus 2 means that uh, the transition from A uh, from state A to state A with a reward of 3. So this is how to read this. Read this. So let's understand what are different types of Monte Carlo approach. The first Monte Carlo approach is for, uh, first visit Monte Carlo approach uh, using which we will be try to estimate the value state function for both the states that is state A and state B. So in first visit Monte Carlo approach, what we are doing, let's assume that we are calculating the value function for A. So once uh, uh, for when uh, once we uh, encounter the state A in the episode, in both the episodes, we will be considering all the rewards from that point onwards. So for example, in the first example, as you can see that the first state is A itself. So the value function that we, uh, we would be uh, calculating is we will be first uh, summing up all the rewards we are getting after uh, encountering state A. Similarly, uh, in the second example, we will again figure out where uh, state A is mentioned for the first time and then consider all the rewards. We will be summing all these rewards and then taking an average. So let's understand how it is done. So in the first episode, we encountered A at the first state. So all the rewards coming from this point, 3, 2, minus 4, plus 4, minus 3, equals to 2. And in the second episode, uh, we are encountering A in the second part uh, and, and as a second state. So we'll be uh, adding up rewards from the second point that is plus three minus three, that is a zero. Now, as you can see that we have two episodes. So we'll be adding up the rewards getting from each other episode and then averaging this out. Hence, two plus zero uh, divided by two equals to one. This is how so the value function for state A equals to one. Similarly, uh, calculating the value function of state B, if we look here, uh, we are getting state B uh, at the third point. So minus 4 plus 4 minus 3. Hence the reward is minus uh, minus 3 in this uh, first episode. And in the second episode it is minus 2 plus 3 minus 3. That is minus 2 again. So if you look here the total uh, for calculating value function for B using uh, first visit Monte Carlo. We are getting minus 3 and minus 2. We would be adding them minus 5 divided by 2 because we have two episodes and hence the reward for value uh, value function for state b equals to minus 2.5.